Did you know that 50% of Americans are magnesium deficient? In this video, you'll find out why. Magnesium is a very important ion in chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, as you remember from uh, biology class or chemistry class, is what makes the plants turn green. So within that green compound is something called magnesium. And really, we should understand that about 50% of all Americans, which I actually think more than that, are magnesium deficient. And I'll give you one reason for that, because soil has not been allowed to rest. We've been planting food in the soil over and over again. Harvesting has been done green, in that the plants haven't been allowed to ripen. So the last step in the ripening process, of course, is the vitamins and minerals coming through the soil into the root system and into the plant, finally. And if they're pulled out green, whereas later a chemical is sprayed upon them to get them to change colors. By its very nature, we are missing some of that chlorophyll that turned them green. And that's a very logical step, and most people when I say that will understand, well, I probably am magnesium deficient. And as Dr. Michelle, you just pointed out that it's critical in the uh, energy consumption or energy making process in the mitochondria. Yes, magnesium is extremely important. Not only is magnesium a mineral, it's also a cofactor, meaning that it binds with other things to make processes happen, like drive your heart rate, like aid your digestive process. Yes, magnesium, believe it or not, is a muscle relaxer. So when you're all tight and tensed up, think about the fact that you might not have enough magnesium. Also, headaches, tension headaches, Magnesium. Magnesium also aids good deep sleep. Why? It's a muscle relaxer. It's a mineral, it's a cofactor, and it's also an electrolyte, meaning it makes things go. It creates fire, it creates electricity. So without magnesium, our heart doesn't fire, our blood doesn't pump, and our nerves don't conduct electrical impulses. So without magnesium, we might be running just a little fuse too slow, and we might be having symptoms of insomnia, we can't sleep, constipation, we can't move our bowels, depression, foggy thinking, muscle aches, malaise, all of those symptoms from the simple nutrient mineral enzyme cofactor, magnesium. The reason she's tight all the time is not because she's magnesium deficient, it's because she's buff, you know what I'm talking about? Really, it's important to understand that calcium and magnesium must do a dance. We all understand calcium and the need for that for bone health, but magnesium is also important for bone health as well. So it's important to have calcium, magnesium, more or less in a one-to-one -one ratio and even go upwards with the magnesium because of the inherent magnesium deficiency within our population. And one more tip we'll have for you for magnesium is hypertension or high blood pressure. Countless times we have put people on a standard dosage of magnesium, which is between 450 and 600 milligrams of a particular type, and that blood pressure along with a healthy diet will cause that blood pressure to normalize and blood pressure medications go away. What is blood pressure? It is hypertension, high tension. What is magnesium? It is a muscle relaxer. Brings things down, calms things down, lets the bowel relax, lets the artery tension relax, let our, lets our mind relax, allows us to get good deep sleep. Magnesium is our friend. It's a mineral, it's a cofactor, it's an electrolyte. Find yourself some magnesium in your foods in those good green leafy vegetables or in a supplement. Choose the chelates, the glycinates. They absorb into the system and allow the good systemic effects of relaxing arterial blood pressure, muscles, bowels, and all things get rest and recover. So loosen up, pun intended, with some magnesium. <laughs>